G'day, this is Adam from ABGs. Today I'm looking at our ferromagnetic test tubes. So these guys, one of our test tube science kits, they come in our very reliable, tough plastic test tubes. What I've got here, one I prepared earlier, where I've stripped off all of the uh, wrapping, just to make it a little bit easier to show you what's going on. But it is the same as the one that comes on the shelf. So, opening it up, there's a couple of things inside. You may need to get a bit of a tap to get the magnet up because it can be a bit snug in there. Don't be afraid to give it a bit of a tap to get it out of the test tube. So, two, two things inside. We've got our ferromagnetic material and our magnet. It's got a little handle on it just to hold. So, what I'm going to do, take just only a very small amount of the material. I am only using 10% oh, of what is provided. You do not want to throw it all straight in there. Then I'm very carefully just going to fill it up with some water. Now I'm going to get this nice and tight. I'm about to shake it around a whole bunch. I don't want the water going everywhere. So, just looking at our first experiment, we filled this up with water remaining material that we can just clear straight off. The material is going to be grab the magnet's going to be grabbing material enough that I can suspend the magnet from the test tube. So we've got this nice and mixed. Just collects nice and easy. You'll notice if I go up against the plastic, we get quite a tight mix. If I go a little further away, you actually get a much more obvious display of the field lines. It looks kind of like a little spiky hedgehog in there. So that's the basics of experiment one. If you have got, if the water is looking a little bit murky, a magnetic material can get a little can come with a little bit of like fine dust that doesn't actually grab onto the magnet. So, in a case like that, if you want to make it even more clearer, particularly if you're doing a display for someone, I've gathered the magnetic material, I've got the magnet still attached. Just grab the ball. So what's going to happen here, I can just pour that out. And because I still had the magnet hooked in there, I've still got my magnetic material just hooked on. So what I'm going to do, actually I'm going to give this a second. Clean out. So we now have a much clearer test tube. Again, so now we can much clearer see our lovely spiky effects going to the top.